sort of turn to um, some of the current um, financial crisis and its impact on um, minority and female-owned disadvantaged businesses and whether the commission is monitoring um, what impact this is having on that sector of our economy in terms of its capacity to compete, whether you would share some of your insights with us. Congresswoman, uh, a, a, a limiting condition for us with respect to most of the service providers that have been the focal point of the upheaval in, in recent weeks and month, months our jurisdiction, our, our institutions that are beyond our jurisdiction. Congress decided uh, in the uh, roughly a century ago and in subsequent legislation that uh, our jurisdiction did not include the financial services sector. There are limited exceptions to that. So this is basically a sector we do not study being faithful to the limitations in our, in our statute. I think maybe my question was misunderstood. I'm sorry. I'm, I understand the jurisdictional um, issues, but with, within your purview, the there are going to be businesses that are going to be impacted by this. And I wanted to know, but with, within your purview, the, there are going to be businesses that are going to be impacted by this. And I wanted to know just for competition, given the credit crunch. And these are also the major employers of so many Americans. So, I mean, while we're up here, you know, rushing to the rescue, I'm assuming everyone else is looking at what the ramifications are for their particular domain. Let me, let me give you one that I, I expect will be significant for us in exercising our authority to look at, at mergers, at, at questions of dominance, at questions of, of agreements. And that is, a major source of strength in our economy historically has been the strength of its capital markets. It's the capacity of individuals to raise funds by issuing stock, by getting loans, by issuing debt. And we make major decisions in individual cases depending upon how readily we think new firms can enter the market or how existing entrepreneurs and organizations can expand. Mm -hmm. To the extent that the turmoil in recent experience um, may adjust or dictate an adjustment in those assumptions about how capital markets operate, that is certain to affect the way in which we evaluate the significance of an individual merger and the possibility that new firms will be able to come into the market and challenge them. So I see that as being a fairly powerful implication and, of what's And for place. me, Mr. Chairman, the concern is who ends up at the end of the day at the table able to participate in those activities, which is why I turn to the most vulnerable sector of our small business um, environment, which is that of women-owned, uh, minority-owned, disadvantaged businesses. And it would be helpful to make sure that, you know, as you look at particularly joint ver ventures in, in globalization, where, the, you know, th these companies have always been disadvantaged, that we take a look at what the impact is going to be, or we project what the impact will be, so that we can look at the other vehicles we have through our purview to be of support to them in this time of, of financial instability. And I was wondering whether your commission would be, in fact, uh, highlighting or, or looking at that and sort of cautioning or sending out a warning so that we can react as quickly as